Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fable 2. Uh, I am currently on my way to Fairfax Gardens, as you can see by the screen, uh, to turn in uh, the last artifact uh, that we found for the archaeologist quest, uh, which we shouldn't be too far away from completing, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, we have quite a few, do you sell rifles? You are a weapons trader, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're a rifle trader. Uh, okay. Nope, okay, she doesn't have anything good. Yay! Yep, <laughs> not so yay. All right, yeah, so this uh, this is definitely getting dug out quite a bit, as you can see here. So we're not, like, too far away from completing this. We can't quite make it down there. Oh, I can vault down there. There is, like, a door. What happens if we go down here? Let's check it out. Why not? Um... Okay, hitting the A button does nothing, so I think we still need to do uh, a few more artifacts. Or maybe this is the last one. We'll see. I forget what's in there. Uh, I think there's, like, a cool weapon or something like that, but I might get bamboozled. I think there's I think there's a couple, like, jokes and stuff like that uh, spread around the uh, the old Fable 2 as well. So, you here you go. Something for me? I do. Calm down, lady. Very good. You've done a great service for anthropology and all that. Mm-hmm. And, okay, no doubt she'll need our help again. All right, let's wait around a couple seconds and see if she gives us another clue, because, I mean, there's not a whole lot more uh, excavating that needs to go on. As you can see, I'm making 10,000 coins for every five minutes, so I'm making bank here. Um, yeah, I'm not really too sure how long we have to wait. Do you have anything else for us? Are you here for more exciting trips into the unknown? Okay, so we need to find some more artifacts. Fair enough. Good. I've written down the details for you. All right. Hand it over. Thank you. Uh, everything points to the next artifact resting somewhere which has long been home to wanderers and travelers, according to one source. Um, wanderers and travelers. So that's either Bloodstone or the Gypsy Camp. Either one. All right, let's take a quick look here. I, I want to see if I can get a. Uh, here we go. This is you are exactly what I'm looking for in a in a salesperson. Okay, there's the clockwork master clockwork rifle. So we want the master clockwork rifle, but we want one with uh, dual augment slots. Whoa, weird. Very nice. Don't call me very nice. Um, hello. So. What we're do what we're gonna do in this quest uh, today? We have, let's see. So we have a couple more side quests before we can do the the hero th skill. Well, we can actually do the hero skill whenever we want, but I'd rather do the side quest first. Uh, so we have Love Hurts, uh, Lonely Gravekeeper, and Bowerstone Cemetery is conducting a strange experiment. Uh, Eighty five hundred renown. That might be a little bit of a longer a longer quest. Uh, of course, we have the archaeologist, so we might stop by the either Bloodstone or the Gypsy Camp, see if that pops up somewhere. I uh, still have the Crucible Championship, uh, which we can do again, which will probably gonna probably going to be a, its own episode. Westcliff Shooting Range, which we want to go back and do uh, now that we have a better rifle. Um, and then there was one da hiding down here that I didn't necessarily see. Uh, Garth's research has made his old home a dangerous place to be. Do you dare sleep in the tower? Uh, that might be a little bit of a weird one. Uh, so we'll we'll see how long this episode goes on for, and uh, and then we can can kind of uh, pinpoint how many more episodes we go before the hero skill. So let's go ahead and do this one since we're already kind of sort of by. Oh, I haven't found this location yet. Kind of sort of by the Bowerstone Cemetery, so we can just kind of run there. Yeah, in between episodes, I've definitely been buying a lot of real estate. Um, I have, as you can see, I have about 400,000 coins now, so that's never going to become a problem. Uh, and it also will allow us to do the Temple of Light uh, quest, where you have to donate a certain amount in between a certain amount of time as well. That one's going to be a little hard to capture on camera, uh, in an episode because I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of waiting around, but uh, I'll have to check that one out uh, Okay, Bowerstone Cemetery, so we got to go to Bowerstone, Bowerstone Old Town 
and then Bowerstone Cemetery. I don't know why it tells me that I don't, I haven't discovered any of these locations when clearly I've been to Bowerbone, uh, Bower, Bowerbone, Bowerstone Cemetery before. But whatever, man. I need to start buying houses in this area next. This is a nice area. Lovely. Plus, it's like the uh, the area where I grew up as a homeless child. Oh, wait a minute. This way? Okay. Listen, Gargo, I will find you someday. Okay, weird kid, because I'm really famous. There's also a mechanic where you can give uh, kids, like, autograph cards. I haven't quite figured that one out. I bought a couple of them just to hand out, you know. Gotta keep my public happy. Oh, this place has changed. Look at that thing. I don't think that giant building was there the last time we were over here. Huh, boy? Yes. Oh, and then we got this guy again. What is this guy? What did this demon door want? Oh, looking right up his nose. Can you talk to me? What did you did? What did you want again? Hello, stupid stone face. Where meat? You meat? Where meat? Uh, am I too fat? Okay, we're gonna have to buy some like uh, celery or something like that. Get our body weight down, I guess. Stupid fat shaming stone door. Oh, who's this guy? Who is that guy? Does this say something? Huh, that's almost like a, a almost like a butler or like a something or other. Hello. Uh, oh god, that scared me. Can I have this? Is something bad gonna happen if I take whatever's in here? Pretty necklace, thank you. Uh, I'm sure that's not cursed at all. Sure, everything will be alright. Alright, let's go check this out. I v vaguely remember this now. I think this guy's pretty weird, if I remember correctly. Hello? Uh, hello? I'm not in. Well. well I'm in, but I'm busy. Doing absolutely nothing abnormal. That's not suspicious at all. Oh wait, did he open the thing? We no, we totally missed it because I'm standing Still too close. Go away. Unless. Yeah. How would you like to assist in this century's most important scientific experiment? Very, very important stuff. All you have to do is collect a few precious bits of cork. Um. What I meant to say is, some totally above board and non creepy gathering of various anatomical specimens. Right. I don't know about that, man. I mean, I'm gonna accept it, sure. Hey, I might not feel good about you're it. You're not here to dump anything in the old part of the graveyard, are you? People think it's some sort of tip. Oh, good, good. Your first, um, scientific expedition is to Rookridge. There should be a fine body part hidden away in a cave there. Good luck. What? Aren't you leaving? Think of, um, science. Wait, <laughs> um... Sorry, uh, how exactly does this guy know that there's a, a body part in uh, Rookridge? That's oddly specific. Oh, we're going right into the cave. Okay. How does he know that there's a body part in Rookridge? How do you... I want to know how he located it. Maybe I don't want to know. Maybe I shouldn't really ask any questions. Let's just do it and get it over with. Go on, buddy. Ah, come on. I know. Get wrecked. Man, this pistol... <laughs> uh, yeah, it's pretty cheesy. 
It's a little OP as the uh, the kids say these days. This thing just absolutely just wrecks enemies. It's not even it's not even really fair. Maybe I should maybe I should stop using it. <laughs> I mean, combat combat plays a pretty major role uh, in the Fable games. Okay, there's a lot of body parts here. Is this one good? Here, look, this is a whole body. Why do we gotta find parts when, you know, we can just use... Alright. I'm coming. Apparently, apparently it's a very oddly specific body part. Uh, okay, there we go. I wasn't sure if those guys could be killed if they weren't knocked off their stilts. Alright, pistol time. Oh, you ain't got no weapon. Alright, where you at? Where you at, you stupid gargoyle? He's in here somewhere. Alright, Togo, hang on. Hang on. Is he back here? Gargoyle? I know, dog. I know, man. Hang on. I'm just taking a look. Just taking a peek. All right, buddy. Chill out. All right, we're going to find this guy. It's kind of like he sees me. He sees me, but he still sounds like he's really far off in that. There he is. I caught his eyes. I caught his shimmering eyes. Come on, doggo. I guess I don't even really need the doggo. I'll just follow the, uh... I'll just follow the, uh, the gold trail. Right? Man, I feel really bad for using this pistol, really. I feel so guilty. Alright, let's uh, dig up some bodies. Right. This is weird. So, maybe this is uh, 8,500 renowned because Lady Grey! Hey! Um... Look at, look at those thighs. <laughs> uh, there's not much to them. So, first witch spotter's note. Oh, I feel like we should read this. Let's read this real quick, because Lady Grey played a pretty big role in the original fable, if you guys remember. On this spot, the witch spotters of Albion did bury the lower limbs of one Lady Grey, formerly mayor of Bowerstone and certified enchantress and seductress. We lost two of our members to surprise hob attacks as we explored the deepest corridors of this cave. The names of these brave men we shall remember always, just as soon as we've washed all the hob and hob dung uh, under which we buried a piece of the foul witch. Never shall she rise again. Interesting. All right. Uh, so I guess this guy is going to try to resurrect Lady Grey. That's really that's the vibe that I'm picking up here. I don't know what you what vibe you guys are picking up, but I'm carrying around Lady Grey's uh, lower bo lower body. So, all right, man, just take take the pistol weapon like a real hob. Soon we're gonna have a lot of experience, a lot of uh, like ranged experience and whatnot. I don't think did we explore this cave when we were in here the first time? This is the, where the where we ran into the. I thought this was where we ran into the guy whose son whose son became a hob. Okay, pistol pistol is not good for this kind of fight. 
but the vortex de most definitely is. Hang on, guys. Don't beat me up too much before I can rip this off. Oh. Nope. Nope. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. All right. Well, that's good. It's good that I don't have to, like, find her piece by piece. Like, it's good, it's good that I don't have to find left, right, uh, like, left leg, right leg, like, left arm, right arm. Uh, Alright, let's just get out of here. There's nothing of interest here. Interest to me in that cave. I'll just go back to this weirdo. See what he has planned. So this might not take too long if this is all it is. It's kind of just like a simple fetch quest. I don't know if I want to come into your house here, buddy. Uh, uh, I think you got some splaining to do. Damn, that lady. Or man? Or something. Hello? Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Here's your lower body. Oh, it's her. It's really, really her. I might as well tell you the truth now. I'm not just advancing the cause of science, you see. I'm... I'm advancing the cause of love. This... This is Lady Grey. Well, a bit of her anyway. She lived a long time ago. An awful, barbaric time. And she was the mayor of Bowerstone. Some people, well, they didn't like her very much. Couldn't see what a wonderful person she really was. They called her a witch. And, well, they chopped off her head. Then they buried her body in three different places. But let's not waste time on such awful tales. The second part of her is hidden in a tomb between Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh. Please find it. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Uh, Alright, have a good one. Alright, this is uh, one of the weirdest fetch quests that I've ever been on. Let's do it. Uh, Body from a tomb in Wraith March. I do not have that location. Where can we get to? Let's just go to uh, Wraith Marsh. Maybe... Let's go here. Wait, he said Bloodstone. He said between Bloodstone and Wraith Marsh, so Bloodstone Road would probably be the place, the place to check check out, right? Logically. Yikes! Yeah, Lady Grey, interesting, uh, interesting lady, uh, accused of killing her sister. Uh, actually, no, she admitted it, so she definitely killed her sister. Out of uh, jealousy and or spite or who knows. Maybe she was just crazy. Alright, I know. Oh. Okay, we got some hollow mans. Hey, hollow mans. Hey, hollow man. Get wrecked. Okay, don't get wrecked. Oh, these guys are like no magical, magical spells. Gotta love a big hammer, man. Oh, uh, boom. I don't think you can cancel a show. Once you whip out your pistol, you're basically contractually obligated to fire said pistol. Hey, floating orb of experience. Please come here. Do we, can we level up anything? Let's actually, let's figure that out real quick. Abilities. I think we have a lot of experience. Uh, we got 69,000. Okay. So, maybe not that. Here's what I want to do. Okay. So, we're never going to throw out, like, a level 1 vortex. So, let's do... So, here's what we want to do. Here's what I want to do, specifically. So, I want to buy, like, force push. 
and we can like or we can learn a couple levels of that because we have about two hundred thousand will experience and we've already upgraded vortex. Um, let's just do one more. That's good. I just don't want to drain any of my general experience. So we got force push. Um, spell selector. Now. Uh, so we're never going to do a level one vortex, I don't think. So we want to like upgrade these. We want to like change our spell selectors so that we can do like a powerful force push and then like save up for a vortex. I'll show you what I mean. Um when the uh when the time comes so we got 185,000 that we can do physique let's do physique yeah why not you gotta get the you gotta get you gotta build the muscles <laughs> gotta build the muscles gonna help uh swinging that hammer right boy right twin blades tomb okay so man these are a lot of this quest has a lot of uh a lot of throwbacks so twin blade uh was a enemy or he was a hero, a former hero, turned bandit leader, who actually was the one who cut out Therese's eyes, and who um, Teresa lived with after the events of Oakvale. Al, okay, force push. That was the ter most the worst. Okay, please stop. Ow, hang on, <laughs> stop, guys, 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 hang on now. That was the worst push, the uh, force push I've ever, I've ever done seed. So look, so we can force push them. And then they're like, just kind of out on the ground. Then we hit them with the vortex. Yeah. So we're kind of getting our spells to kind of like work together almost. I can't believe it. This guy's really just kicked my butt. I got this. I got destroyed. Is this guy still alive? Come on, man. If you could just, you know, go ahead and die, that'd be great. Anything up this way? Oh, what is this shindig? Ooh, okay, it's a skill ball. Cool, cool stuff. So I always thought one of those uh, the balls that you have to use a certain skill on or a specific skill on was like a really cool mechanic, but it's not used all that much in the game. Oh, spikies. Spiky boys. Get off me. I'm glad I can knock these guys over at least. So, a little force push. Man, that guy died real easy. Maybe we could just keep force pushing. There we go. Uh, Doggo, you might want to avoid the uh, spikes. It is now raining in here because I tried to get a vortex going. Okay, so there's a skill ball. I don't know what these things are called exactly. Okay. Did it open the gate? Oh, he hello. Nice to, uh, nice to meet you. Okay, that opened the gate. Great. Fantastic. Why am I going through all this trouble to get a, uh, a necrophile? It's a dead body? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> have no idea. Look, man. Don't bring a hollow man to a pistol fight. Okay, let's just go check this out. Before we... Before we hit that button, boot on. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, your head is, uh, electricity. Got a uh, sparky head there, buddy. All the experience. Okay. So we can't open that. Let's get rid of some of that. Wait a minute.
Okay, so there's a skill ball up there. Get that little bit of experience. Every little bit helps. All right, I guess we got to do this first. Okay. Okay, so we'll do the chicken. Do I have to do it all the way? Fair enough. He has been he has been defeated. <laughs> Poor guy. He thought he got me with the uh, chicken dance. There we go. Okay. Shoot it. That opens. And we jump down. And what does this do? Hello. Nothing? Okay. It does nothing, apparently. Get wrecked. Man, I can't wait to put... I should put augments in this thing. Just go ham. Every battle. No, no. Enough. Enough with the, the sparking head trick. What you guys got going on? Any last words? All right, I've lost Doggo. Well, this is this is a nice place. Oh, it's it's clobbering time. It's vortex time. So we got the fort. We can do the force push. Here we go. This is a good example of exactly what I'm trying to accomplish. We got the force push. Knock everybody on their butts. And then once everybody's down, I'll have time to actually go through and get a level 5 Vortex up and running. And then they're just like, everybody's just screwed. Everybody is just, is just screwed. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. What's this guy doing? Oh, I can just tap Y. I don't even have to aim. That's great. Easy enough. Are you supposed to open? Find a way to unlock the door. Was that not the way? Here we go. Man, these statues are a little weird. Um. And they're now breathing fire. Dude, why are we... What is going on right now? Honestly. They went through a lot of trouble to get rid of Lady Grey or keep her body parts separate. Alright, where you at, you little, little SOB? I'll find you. Is he in here? No. No, he's not. Don't you try and ignore me. All right, here we go. Force push time. We'll force push. That did nothing. We got to get that level three. All right. Now that everybody's down, we'll come through. Boom. There it is. That's a great combination. That is a great combination. The uh, the magic in this game. What a great system. Works really well. Oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, I'm not gonna. Let's not. Uh, I don't want to walk into that glowy light yet. Yep, yeah, buddy. Okay. I know, man. Uh, let's pop open the. The nice uh, little sarcophagus. Oh, it's silver key in there. Anything else? Some bones. Great. Ooh. Okay. Didn't realize you could bust through the walls. That's fine. Ooh. Let's use that right away. Cha-ching. Can we bust through this one, maybe? No, I can only do some sort of weird glitchy dance, I guess. 
All right, Lady Grey, is your uh, body in here? There it is, Lady Grey's upper body, great. Looking good, <laughs> true love. You should wash your hands after touching this. Yeah, probably. Second witch spotter's note, all right. <clears throat> uh, on the spot, the witch spotters uh, of Albion did conceal the torso of one Lady Grey, formerly a mayor of Bowerstone and certified enchantress and seductress. Uh, there can be no more fitting location than the tomb of the infamous bandit, Twinblade. May their foul, tormented souls be locked forever within these walls. We salute the fallen witch spider comrades who so val valiantly fought hordes of hollow men with nothing but pencils and small notebooks to make Albion safer. Yes, let's everybody take a moment of silence for those brave souls. Thank you. All right, back to where Wraith Marsh. Okay, so if we went through all that trouble to get her legs and her torso, where's the head at? And what sort of monstrous monsters are we going to have to fight through in order to, to, uh, to get that? All the silver keys, I'll take it. Okay, good. All right, let's go back. This is, uh, yeah. Uh, so I think my theory from the last episode where the reputation score uh, or the reputation that you get from doing quest is directly kind of linked to how long the quest should kind of take you. Um, so 8,500 reputation score. Come on in. It's about, it's, it's going on about like 30 minutes. Uh, thus far. It's just kind of a loose theory. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah, here. I keep forgetting to give them to him. Oh, wonderful. As if I'm going to keep it for myself. Yes. My poor Lady Grey. What did they do to you? Well, she's been dead for 500 years, pal. your parts ended up in cool, dry places. Nope. Oh, Let's not get weird about right. this. yes. Thank you so much. You're probably the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. Nah, I don't want to go that far. A little yes. bit. <laughs> There's only one more part of her left to find, and it's in a vault somewhere in Fairfax Gardens. Ooh! I'm sure you'll find the right tomb. I'd come with you, but, well, I try not to go out too much. I might run into people. Huh. Now, hold up. Is that what's in the tomb where we have to find the artifacts? Because if that's the case... Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out and see if we can actually... Oh, damn it. Uh, let's go check it out real quick. I want... There it is. You couldn't alphabetize these for me? Lionhead? So... I'm hoping that we can actually get into one of the tombs. But it may be the tomb that we're currently working on uh, trying to get into the, uh, the... The one that we're trying to get into via the archaeologist quest. But it also might not be. If this gold trail takes a sharp right turn at some point... Nope, we're going left. We're going left. We can do it. And so the hero vowed to stop the Such a good time. Rifle Trader, do you got what I'm looking for? No, does nobody sell a Master Clockwork Rifle? With two Augment slots? You guys are real, uh... Come on, man. You are not helpful. Anybody else? Weapons Trader? What do you got? Weapons? Hmm, <laughs> okay. Potion Trader. Oh, actually, Potion Trader. Uh, let's buy some stuff. Uh, actually, let's just make this easy. <laughs> I got the money to spend. I'll buy all the experience potions. Easy leveling. I missed one. I'm gonna have to go back. Yep, not even not even looking at it. I'll buy everything. I got enough money. I'm making 10,000 gold coins every five minutes. Money is no object, literally. Hey, what weapons do you have? More than happy to help, good friend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, you know what? 
let's let's uh you can spend your gold here whenever you want let's I'm, i kind of want to get like a collection of like master weapons up and running oh hey food trader okay we can whip this out as well not to make this um not to make this episode any longer than it should be we need to in order to open up that demon door in which we call it we need to buy some good stuff so we're looking for fatness negative fatness which is like celery she might not have it there it is sublime celery yeah carrot no okay fatness yeah is that the only celery that you have there it is lush celery you enjoy it oh i'm gonna really enjoy this celery bet your butt lady crisp Not celery that's Amazing. it that's all she's got okay yeah. oh rifle trader hey 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 oh. hey hey you oh i'm glad to have you back oh come on what is up with the master clockwork rifles with only one augment oh. slot it's obnoxious okay Okay, boy, uh, this is public grounds. Uh, let's make this quick. This is probably highly illegal. Yeah. yeah. Autograph card, all right. Uh, autograph card, all right. Uh, autograph card, all right. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so those are the autograph cards that I was talking about that you can give to the kids and stuff, but don't really know how to do that because it doesn't come up automatically. Lady Grey's tomb. So she actually has a tomb out here. But if you guys remember the events in like the original Fable, well, you could marry her, I guess. But there's also an alternative where you could run her out of town. So it's interesting that she came back into town. Kind of a jerk, buddy. I see you, though. Pop! Alright. We got our katana. Come on, boy. I need you to move. Um. Yeah, I don't know about this one, pal. I don't <laughs> really know about this one. Very dark. 1,500 coins. Money, please. Thank you. What else we got around these parts? Let's do some looting. Looting and shooting. Let's not step in that golden circle yet. Wow, what is that there? What is the, like, the skeleton with the swords? That's, like, some crazy, like, symbolism. This is so crazy. Okay, we'll take that. Not much of a treasure, really. Let's just do a little bit of walking. A little bit of walking around these parts. See if we got everything. That's the important part. We want to make sure that we... Okay, there's a door there. Okay, so we can't get out. That's always a good, that's always a good sign. Uh, I just came for the head. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Oh, Lady Grey, you the 500 years have not been kind, not bad looking considering it's 500 years old. Ugh. All right, let's read it. <clears throat> On the spot, the witch spotters of Albion did bury the head of one Lady Grey, formerly Mayor of Bowerstone and certified enchantress and seductress. Oh, how those beautiful glassy eyes stared at us as we condemned them to eternity in this hollowed underground chamber that she had the temerity to temerity to temerity uh, to name after herself. I'm gonna have to Google that one. Unnerving clicking sounds echo all around us, and the sand seemed to writhe with life. Dear Avo, I hope it's not beetles. Oh God, beetles! It's the Vitals. 
suck on that force push, would ya? Alright, we gotta get a little... Look at this spell casting. It kind of lights up the area. We'll have to keep that in mind. Let's create a uh, force... A force uh, nice little uh, shield of vortex. That's it? Beetles, though? Beetles? Is there anything cool around here? Let's take a look, why don't we? Vitals. I mean, this isn't really that bad. Can we just can we just leave, maybe? Or do we have to beat all the beetles? The vitals. Okay. Fair enough. Stupid gold trail. Come on, man. All right. Uh, see ya. Thanks. Wow, that was it. That was not it. That was not it. Luckily we have... Oh, man. Hey, hey. Oh, sneak attack. It's katana time. Oh, it is katana time. Look at that. Right through him. Amazing. Hello? Alright, let's keep it moving, boy. Oh, Silver Key, you are not barking. You are not barking. We've gotten a lot of Silver Keys in this episode, actually. We should be able to... Oh, man. Hello. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. That's enough of that. All right, maybe the uh, maybe the Cortana, the the Cortana, the Katana. Been playing too much Halo recently. Maybe the uh, the Katana is the way to go. Although I do like myself, nice large hammer. Cool. It's a weird freaking tomb, man. What are these like pipes and stuff? Cool. Are we free? That wasn't too bad. I thought the head, I th you know, the head is probably like the most important part, right? You think that that would be like locked up somewhere for safe safekeeping? Treasure, treasure. -ar. Wow, what a quest! That took a long time, longer than uh, I was expecting, really. Money bag, money please. Thank you. Hundred gold coins. I'm making freaking ten thousand every like five minutes. Yeah, buddy, let's, uh, yep, yep, yep. Show me where. I have no problem desecrating uh, public grave sites. Especially if we only get 100 coins. Oh, a, a beggar's ring. I will not give that to my wife, my future wife. Even though I was once a married man. All right, pop this open. Freedom! Free at last! Free at last! Alright, um... Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this over with, shall we? Glad... Well, I mean, it would have been weird if I would have split this up into different episodes, so I'm glad I got it done, kind of, sort of... What? Is my neck okay? Am I alright? <laughs> You okay, hero? All right. I'm down in the basement. Everything's ready. Oh God! Not the basement. <laughs> what the frick, man? What is this thing? Okay, her body's not like in it yet. All right. What's the reward for this, bud? Last. Oh, uh, I hey. never thought this day would come. Oh, I she's in the thing now. Late. She's in the thing now. You must think I'm some sort of pervert. Uh. A real creep. But, well, 
I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Let's just get by the door just in case stuff goes goes wrong. She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. Yeah. And now you're wondering how such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. Right. <laughs> you see, this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue. It's also a love spell. Oh, we'll be so happy. I'll take care of her forever. Just like she deserves. Who am I to question... Who am I to tr question true love? Really. Oh, wow. Uh... Well, hey, looks like you got yourself a looker there, pal. Little, little, little stiff. She's alive. Oh, my sweet lady. How do you feel? You, you brought me back. You are magnificent. Um, well, you know. Actually, it was... it was me who... I have been asleep so long, but now I am ready to live again and to love for the first time. You are so perfect. Well, I know. Oh no! The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she... You've got to go. Uh-oh. Now! I thought my heart had died 44... Uh, what do we do? But it beats now for you. Man, we'd be a real jerk if we were Come on, to steal to Lady me. Grey. Please, she and I are meant for each other. I know it. There's something about your eyes. They're so beautiful. All right, we're not gonna be a, wait, this so, guy. Well, that's fine. We're gonna we'll leave. You can get any number of women to fall in love with you. That's, that's true. That is true. All right, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's go. Promise to take care of you. Uh, is my dog still down there? No, he's not. Okay, that would have been weird. Hey! Hooray! We got the Rod of Life. Uh, interesting name. Alright. Uh, well. That was interesting. Oh, I can actually buy this place now. Interesting. Okay. Um, what is that? A hundred thousand? Yeah. Yeah, I got the, oh, the Gravekeeper's Key. Gravekeeper's Note, what does this one say? Dear Occupier, I hope you find more happiness in this house than I did. It was far too large and empty for a lonely soul such as I, and yet I do have fond memories of this place. It was here that I discovered all my grandfather's secrets and continued his experiments, even when they touched upon matters perhaps best left alone. I enclose the key to my grandfather's scrapyard nearby, though there's a little of value to be found. He made me promise I would never set foot in the crypt there, and I suggest you heed his warnings too. Who knows what failed experiments lurk in inside? Respect uh, blah, blah, blah. Respectfully, Victor, the Bowerstone Gravekeeper. Okay. Well, anyway, this episode has gone on a little bit too long. Uh, next episode, we'll probably step foot in that crypt, uh, and then also try to open up the uh, the demon door as well. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a little bit of a weird one, but whatever. Regardless, it's a little bit of a weird game. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please definitely leave a like and a comment below. It definitely helps me out quite a bit. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you guys on the next episode.